Well, there was always a stack of split firewood back in the corner of our old country store. Back by the pot belly stove and all those ashes on the floor. And a circle of old wooden chairs. That's where they'd all meet after winter chores. And tell all their stories by the fire. And as a boy, I used to sit and listen for hours to, to my favorite Uncle John and the man with the world's biggest beard. Our neighbor a mile over, old, old Gary Don, and there weren't no telling who might show up. But they'd all go on and on, tell all their stories by the fire. Yeah, they tell the wildest stories that a boy could ever hear. Get a little louder if they drank a little beer. I never crossed in my mind someday they all might disappear. And all those stories by the fire. And I remember a hundred about all those fishing trips and who always caught the most. And Billy's whopper about that big old catfish head out there on the post. <laughs> Said that's how he lost his finger. Chewed it plumb off, he would boast. All oh, lot of lies told him around the fire. And when deer season came along, oh, man, you'd hear a lot. Like how old Cooney dropped his eight points with at least a half mile of shot. Well, hell, everybody knew Cooney couldn't even see that far. We guess Cooney just forgot. A laughter by that fire. And they tell the wildest stories that a boy could ever hear. They'd get a little louder if they drank a little beer. Never crossing my mind someday they all might disappear. All those stories by the fire. They like to joke about how Joe Ed almost lost his ear back behind the hilltop bar. His wife called him drunk back at one night with Meridale in Meridale's car and she carved out the biggest old chunk. Left a hell of a scar. Ooh, and snicker by the fire. But when they talked about the Twister 68, well, things got a little tense. It carried off Gibby's barn, boat tractors, and every inch of fence. And they guess Gibby went along for the ride because no one had seen him since. And he'd get a little quiet by the fire. Well, a couple of those chairs, they sometimes just sit empty now. Because Uncle John and Billy are in the ground. The ground they used to plow. But I believe they'll live on forever. And all their stories too somehow. With the changing of the guard by the fire. Yeah, they tell the wildest stories that a boy could ever hear. They get a little louder if they drank a little beer. Never crossing my mind someday they all might disappear. Men and stories by the fire. Men and stories by the fire.